Now, we often hear, don't we, that young people need more things to do if they're to stay out of trouble. So, parents in one part of Staffordshire are angry that the scouts and guides could be forced to close because the council wants to sell the land where their hut is based. Well, our reporter Becky Johnson is with the scouts in Brood now. Becky. Well, yes, there is an air of excitement here. That's because the schools in Brood broke up at lunchtime today. And it's a real testament to the scout movement here that so many of them have chosen to spend the first night of their summer holidays here. But the sign on the scout hut, Save Our Hut, tells its own story. Ian, your scout leader here. Oh, I am, yeah. The land is going to be sold by the council, potentially. What would that mean for the scouts? Well, as you can see, the scouts and everybody what's involved here have a great time. And if they hadn't got this facility, they would be absolutely devastated. So would the leaders and parents and everything. I mean, what would these kids do if they wasn't doing this five nights a week? And it must be very frustrating for you when you hear so many stories on the news of communities looking for activities for children. You've got one ready made here and it might be forced to close. We have, yeah. Uh, at least once a week, you hear the Prime Minister on the national news saying there's, there's, we've got to build community life and spirit and there's an instance here in Brood where they're actually taking it away from us. Well, if we wander over here, they're preparing actually to go on camp next weekend. We can talk to Ben and Sam. You're both scouts. How long have you been scouts? Um, seven years. And if you weren't in the Scouts, what would you do on, during your evening? Well, nothing really. We'd just be at home instead of learning new skills right, like we can do here. It's just no fun. Is there much else to do around here? Um, no, not really. There's a new centre there, but that's going to be knocked down too. So. And this, this hut really does have a history. It's been here over 40 years. And somebody who knows all about this is David Evans. You were a Scout yourself, weren't you? Yes, some... Um almost 50 years ago and uh, in the village here and I can remember raising a lot of money to buy that hut and it would be a shame for it to go and I'm now I'm now a parish councillor and they're right behind their, the scouts bid. Okay David it. thank you well there is a real history here if we follow our noses we can see they're making some pancakes over here which I am going to try later but before we go Lauren you're a cub and you'd be sad wouldn't you to see it um, yeah, because um, it's been such a long way until I'll be in Explorers and that. OK, Lauren, thank you. Well, the council say they still haven't come to a decision yet, so we have to wait and see. Back to you. Thank you very much, Becky. Save the scout up, Yeah, Bob. pancakes look good, by the yeah. way, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> We've got to save the scout. That's terrible, yeah, isn't it? Right.